Mark Buckley, COP28 Dubai Live, 1.5 Media, Allied for Future. Unbelievable, my great friend, Ingo Pohl. We've known each other for a lot of years. We always see each other at COP and in Thailand, as a matter of fact, which is an amazing thing. Yeah. Please introduce yourself, why you're here at COP yeah. and, and kind of what's going on. Yeah, yeah. so my name is uh, Ingo. I uh, just live in Thailand, that's where we meet each other. My first COP was COP1 in Berlin, so I'm a veteran to this. Uh, when I first came here, I came to observe the negotiations, you know, uh, caring but very much cared about kind of like the rulemaking part of it. Now I'm here and I care about the community. I care about the camps, the communities of people who want to act together, now who are done talking. There was a time that I didn't like to come to COP, uh, where it was just frustrating, it was announcements. Now I love being here because it's people who act, who are, who are, who are back, no? who are back at scale, and uh, who provide a lot of inspiration. We need to take COP, I think, from that perspective. No? Like the negotiations is one facet that happens somewhere over here, but all of the other interesting stuff, that's maybe like, I don't know, 5,000 people, the other 80,000 people over here are here to get things done, but also to celebrate, celebrate community and be there for each other. Absolutely, and I love that. We, we have a session tomorrow at uh, the Global Innovation Hub. We sit on the Health and Nutrition Board yeah. together, and we'll have a nice panel meeting in, in the pavilion. So look out for that, the UNFCCC yeah. Global Innovation Hub yeah. Pavilion on Health and Nutrition. We, we actually, that's how we originally met. It was at a side meeting in Thailand yeah. on uh, food, yeah. Food Innoopolis, yeah. I believe, yes, right. uh, actually. And so we've always been really interested in food. I mean, we talk about the fossil fuels, we talk about the markets and, and all yeah. those things. But you know, the biggest lever and yeah. drawing down yeah. human suffering and our global grand challenges, isn't it food and agriculture? Yes, yes. Yeah. I, I think we can see an end of the tunnel in when it comes to fossil fuel transition and it's a big topic, it always has been a big topic. Food and ag, as a topic has only happened for the last five years. And it's the topic where we still have to turn the needle, you know, where we are so far away from a sustainable future, where we talk about the livelihoods of large parts of the population. I mean, take this jacket, you know, it's from Northern Thailand. It's the Northern Thailand where a lot of the food is grown, a lot of the feed is grown, that we then eat in the form of chicken, right? That contributes to a lot of problems. But we should be very careful when we go to those communities to think, that these are the problem makers, you know, we should look at them as a solution providers. We need to integrate them into that process, respect culture and drive change on a basis of a human centric understanding for change. Right. And my hope is actually to COP to become more human centric, put more burning man into COP, I say. I love yeah. it too, and I'm, I'm with you on that mission, yeah. absolutely. That's the lever. This is also the biggest food cop we've ever had yeah. in history. Shaman Sheikh COP27, we were there, mm -hmm. uh, about five, six, maybe seven pavilions and a lot of side events around food. Now over 50% topic, food, 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 yeah. ag, uh, regenerative is coming up in, in words, organic and mm -hmm. all sorts of things, healing our soils. Fabulous. We're yeah. here asking two major questions. It's kind of a, uh, a, a meme. A cop half full. What's yeah. your optimistic perspective, Ingo? A cop half full is, for me, the actors, the coalitions of the willing that use cop to connect, to plan, to seek finance, to inform, to celebrate. A burning yeah. man of COP, I like yeah. that, and yeah. to build that community and let's let's make something out of nothing and share with community, sharing economy, local future. The yeah. last hard question yeah. is really, what does a world that works for everyone look like for you? Yeah. Not not presidents, not your wife, not your yeah. parents. What does it look for you like for you? You know, actually, it's a question to which it's hard to come up with a spontaneous answer, which is shocking, because this should be actually the first thing in my mind coming here, no? that we know what we, what we do it for. Right? And I think it's, it's a world that has less poverty, ideally no poverty. It's a world where we meet each other on eye level, respect 
you know, without respect for, let's say, socioeconomic status, that is based on the realization that we are on this together, that we are sailing on the same boat in a very big universe. Thank you for letting us all inside of your ideas, being here with 1.5 Media, Allied for Future and Innovators Magazine. Mark Buckley, Inno Pool, live here, COP28. Much success for our meetings tomorrow on the rest app. Bye-bye. Thank you.